Um, what's up? <laughs> hey, it's Tash. Welcome to another one of my videos. <laughs> it's 2020, and that means that it's been a hundred years since the 1920s. <laughs> and everyone's, well, not everyone, but a lot of people have been doing 1920s themed. New Year's stuff, although New Year's was a month ago and this is really late. We did a um, 1920s New Year's party with my friends, which was fun. So the day before New Year's, um, my friends and I got together and we made uh, three 1920s inspired dresses. Inspired, because they're not very like technically historically accurate, but we wanted to kind of follow a few general rules and ideas that would give us more of the illusion of accuracy and not wear mini skirts with fringe that I read was kind of from the 60s version of the 20s so whatever I mean I don't particularly care that much but I was watching a lot of videos and I was like oh better do these right and the main things that I was focusing on was making them long enough and also kind of doing the more boxy look. I think it, we did a good job at kind of making them appear more straight and boxy. One of these is inspired by a video by a YouTuber called Evelyn Wood, which is pretty cool. And then the other two was kind of just me messing around trying to make something work in a single day. So yeah. That's it. Let's get into looking at them. The first dress, the one that I wore, is this one. So one of the main things I was focusing on is the length. So this one is a, I don't know if it's a dress or a long top, I think it's a dress, yeah. So this one is a dress and I sewed a skirt to the bottom underneath. And the skirt is quite oversized on me so it could fit like lower on my hips where the waist would normally be. The problem with this dress is that it does have a waist see it here and it does have darts down in the front um, couldn't really get around that in the time but it's a it's a size large and usually I wear a, between a small and medium on the top so it did look a bit it does look a little bit oversized um, but yeah that was something I couldn't really get around so whatever we're leaving that <laughs> um, added beading to the front and I think that looked really really pretty also on the sides I gathered and sewed the skirt up a little bit because it kind of looked a bit um, I was trying to kind of imitate the style of the kind of bunchy fabric they had a lot of bunchy fabric kind of around their waist or even lower kind of around their hips and so I was giving that kind of illusion without actually doing it. So overall, I quite like it. It has some good points, some bad points, but I very much enjoyed. So I did pair some jewelry with this now. I now have a lot of my grandma's um, jewelry. It's, it's not expensive jewelry, it's just kind of fun. We tried to find some jewelry that also kind of gave the idea of the 1920s. And we needed some pearls. I'm pretty sure this isn't super accurate either, but you know, we're hucking it. That's how we do in this town. I made a kind of cute headpiece for this one because they're they have headpieces. That's pretty much it for dress numero uno. Yeah, overall, super fun, super happy. It turned out so good. Everyone really liked this one. So yeah, moving on.
This is the dress that I said was inspired by Evelyn. It's the second one I'm talking about. <laughs> so this one was originally a scarf I found at the thrift store. I thought this one turned out so great. I was super happy with it. Made a hole at the top uh, like she did. Um, I made this one have a swoop at the back because I thought it looked super elegant. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in the 20s they liked a higher up front, but they didn't mind a bit of a lower back. I might be wrong. I might have to look it up again. But yeah, I did. I wanted to do it anyways. I thought I think it looks um, really good, and I added this trim that has it's beaded. I'm pretty sure this trim is meant for couches, but <laughs> it looks good. And then also tacked the sides here um, to create mock sleeves, which actually looks really great. I did not expect that, but it does. And then the bottom, I added a little bit of beading at the bottom to kind of make it interesting. <laughs> I don't know, add more beads. I tried to add as many beads as I could in a short amount of time. Like in my head, instead of being kind of like patterned, the front is more like, pretend it's like beaded. I don't know. And it had this kind of fringy tassel -y bottom, which kind of fits. This does need a slip underneath because it's not sewn down at the sides. So I had this just random black slip. The jewelry for this that I picked was, um, there's this locket, not a locket, what are we talking about? It's a, it's a pocket watch. <laughs> I don't know if they had these, but I thought it was cute. And it's kind of like a long necklace. I didn't have enough white pearl necklaces on me. This one has similar colors to this dress. I quite like it. It gave the idea of a beaded necklace without being the pearls, but I like it. And these two bracelets that kind of gave me a bit like art deco vibes that fit the kind of gold and black look. There's also this bag I found at the thrift store. I think it was like four or five dollars. Really cute. So I thought it's kind of a clutch bag. I think they had smaller bags at the time just for like a bit of money and probably their cigarettes or something. And I added this, uh, it's crocheted scarf, I believe, and I, found, I got it at the thrift store for $3. I kind of wanted to give kind of more of a, a fluffy element. So this one I thought looked pretty cool. Like it's, it's red orangey, Pro probably horribly inaccurate, but I don't care, I liked it. <laughs> It's 1920s inspired, okay? Please don't come for me. Please don't come for me. So yeah. That's that. On to the third. And last but not least, this dress. <laughs> so, all right, this dress was a little bit more tricky in my head than the other ones. I didn't really know what I would do with it. I started by lengthening it because it, it's a bit too short on its own. And I took some fabric, some of the cream fabric from the first dress I made because um, when I attached the skirt, there was some excess fabric that looked a bit weird, so I cut it off. And I had it and I was like, okay, I'll just put it on this one because it kind of fits because it's more of like a pink cream look. So this dress had a very defined waist, much more defined than the first one that I felt like I could a little bit get away with. This one definitely no. As you wear it, you can tell it's not at all close to 1920s dress. Its shape is very much like cinched in at the waist. My solution for this is the skirt had three layers. So one of the layers I sewed the 
extra fabric to lengthen it. And then I cut off the middle layer and then I left the top layer because that one has kind of embroidery which again, pretend it's like beading or something. I was trying to use this middle fabric in a way to hide the waist. So you can still, if you're up close, you can still see that there's a waist, but it gives kind of more of that boxy silhouette, especially from like a couple feet away. It doesn't look like a cinchin dress, which is so cool. So what I did is I gathered it um, at four points on the sides and the front and back and kind of made these like loopy things which I was inspired by some of the like, actual 1920s dresses not exactly the same you know I, I wanted to really hide that waist but it kind of gave cool vibes and I added some some beads so it kind of jingles around I was really proud of that <laughs> I added that trim like the, the same one I used for the headpiece in the first dress. So yeah, that was that dress. Remarkably simple, but it did take me a while to like figure it out. I had this kind of these long pearls look. There were some black pearls. I don't know if they had black pearls. And then some kind of small pearls around the neck. And I had this silver and black bracelet. I kind of made this outfit have silver jewelry. The other two have the gold. So I added this kind of snake arm cuff, which I'm pretty sure that they liked having arm cuffs in the 20s. There's the last look. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to know. Do you think I did well or not so well? Um, it is like, it's inspired. <laughs> please, please remember that. I'm like terrified of people coming for me. <laughs> but it's what it is. Ah, it's fun. What do you think I did well? What do you think I could have done better? What would you have done? Any, any other ideas? Did you make a 1920s dress? Tag me on Instagram if you have. I do want to do a proper 1920s, actually research it and make it kind of, you know, historically accurate. This is more for fun and I wanted to show it. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really truly appreciate it. I'll see you in another video that may or may not be a skating dress. Bye!